guys. Hope everyone is doing good. Yeah, this is my six month update. Morning guys. Hope everyone is doing good out there. Um, this is my seven month update. My FUE hair transfer procedure. Smile Hair Clinic. Hey guys. Hope everyone is doing good out there. Um, this is my nine month update. My FEE hair transplant with Smile Hair Clinic. It's getting pretty long. Morning guys, hope everyone's doing good out there. This is the 10 month update of my FUE hair transplant procedure with Smile Hair Clinic. Um, crazy that I'm at 10 months already. But uh, there we go. Let's get into it. Um, show you the hairline. Coming in very nicely, very thick. Um, I've got this really one thick hair here, um, which has been there, well, since the op, I guess. But I've noticed as it's growing through, it's very thick. It doesn't bother me at all, but just something I've uh, noticed. Um, yeah, do have a little bit of product in the hair, just a bit of salt spray as a pre-styler and uh, some clay. No hairspray at the moment. Um, that's the top. I did wash it yesterday, yesterday morning. Yeah, really enjoying it. Enjoying the uh, benefits of the confidence it gives me. Um, I went to London this weekend to see uh, my favourite band, No Effects. Um, if you know them or not, I know some of you will. Um, they are, that's the last UK show, so I could not go. Um, but yeah, I was walking around London without a hat on. Um, not that I wear hats these days, but the last time I went to gigs and festivals and all that sort of thing, I would not go without a hat. Um, and if someone in the crowd was to, to take the hat off, which they often do, and then they just throw it into the crowd, never to be seen again, um, that would instantly ruin my, my day or my evening. Because um, obviously I'd be panicking that everyone's looking at my uh, receded hair and my bowling head and all that sort of stuff. But yeah, absolutely don't have to worry about that anymore. It was quite windy in London, but it didn't bother me, it didn't affect anything. Um, yeah, absolutely fantastic to be able to just get out and be free and not worry about any of that. Um, yeah, as far as uh, finasteride goes, I'm still not taking it. Although um, I did get sent some, well I bought some um, topical finasteride with minoxidil, a combo. Um, but I cancelled it too late, I decided I didn't want it anymore cancelled it too late um, so they sent it to me anyway I uh, haven't used it I'm not sure if I will um, I think the topical route is quite expensive um, topical route if I buy if I go down the topical route um, it's gonna cost me about 43 pounds a month whereas the oral uh, version is about 28 pounds a month so that's the only reason I'm probably not going to try the um, the topical route uh, but yeah, you never know. I'm going to wait for the full 12 months and see how I'm feeling about finasteride in general, whether I need to take it or not. Um, but yeah, for now, I'm just taking um, cod liver oil, biotin, and saw palmetto. So yeah, there was an area of concern here. I posted a picture a few days ago, uh, weeks ago, sorry, and a video somewhere around here. I'm not sure if you can see it. Um, not quite filled in the way I would like it to, but I realised um, I've lost sight of the fact that when you get a hair transplant, um, you're not gaining any more hair follicles, you're not gaining any more hair at all. You're just obviously having it move from one area of the head to the other. So, you know, they can only work with how many follicles you've already got. And I, uh, like I said, I lost sight of that, I think, along this journey, but that realisation brought me back to reality that uh, it might not be perfect in the end, but what a far cry from what it was, you know, I've come a long way, more than happy with how it's turned out. Um, if it doesn't grow anymore, although I have two months of growth at least to go, um, yeah, I'll be absolutely more than happy with it. The fact I can just go out with, like I said, with no hat on, in the wind and the rain, you know, that alone has already, it's worked for me already. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna step outside now and show you what it's like in natural light. Yeah, here we are, outside in natural light. Um, try and show you the hairline. It's very sunny here. Uh, there we are. 
can see that thick hair I was on about sticking up, but yeah. Again, nothing I'm worried about. Um, yeah, I'll show you the top as well actually, the natural light. Like I always say in these videos, I will add uh, photos at the end and a video of the, uh, the donut area. Um, yeah, I just wanted to say if anyone's, you know, struggling with this hair loss thing um, and they're not sure what to do, then maybe do consider going down this hair transplant route because it absolutely has uh, changed my life, without a doubt. Friends I hadn't seen for years, um, who I was with in London, they were complimenting, you know, saying how good it looks how natural and you, you can't tell I've had anything done especially most people don't they're not sort of you know as obsessed with hair as us hair loss sufferers are so they don't really think about the fact that we could have had a hair transplant it's not really something that's on other people's minds so when you tell them they're like a bit shocked almost you know that you've had something done because it just looks so natural um, but yeah I absolutely have no complaints um, as I said, I've got two months left until the final results, which will be 1st of August, will be a full year. But it can take 15 months. You know, you can still get growth and thickness up until 15 months, so who knows? But um, if it didn't grow any more from now, if it just stopped, you know, where it is, absolutely, it's, it's worked for me, personally. I mean, is it perfect? You know, maybe not in certain bits, but it doesn't matter come so far and I'm a different person because of it um, that's gonna be it for this one guys thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one cheers